Hey there everybody, today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing video of the 12 megapixel trail camera from the company My Animal Command. Hopefully you're going to be able to see that okay, I wanted you to be able to see their website. So I'm going to run through the unboxing, but the uh, this company does have a website and they sell this item on Amazon, that's where I purchased it from. So if you need any more details or specifications, you can visit either of those places. Instruction manual. The camera itself, we'll look at that here in a second. So this is a USB cable that you can use to plug into the camera. Um, I don't really use it, but you could use it to power the camera. Uh, you can plug it into your computer if you need to retrieve the images off the camera, or uh, you can plug the camera into the computer in the event that you needed to do any kind of firmware updates on the camera. Metal mounting bracket with mounting hardware. And then the cloth strap if you'd rather run this through the back of the camera. This is more so used if you're going around a tree or something like that. So let's talk about the camera first. This one's a 12 megapixel camera. This company also sells a 16 megapixel camera. Um, I've used these before. That's why I bought another one. I've been extremely happy with them. They have about a 65 foot infrared range and flash range. What I like about them is they take a standard SD card. Hopefully you're going to be able to see that card slot there versus the micro SD. For me, that's easier to deal with than dealing with a micro SD card. You can use up to 32 gigabytes. Uh, it's recommended that you format the SD card when you put it in the camera. That's really standard with any camera. Um, setup is very easy. It's got a lot of cool features. Uh, things like time lapse. If you're wanting to do time lapse images, you can adjust the megapixel size. You can adjust your video quality. Uh, this is a full HD uh, video camera. Uh, you can set it to operate at certain times of day. Maybe you just want to take night pictures, but you don't want day pictures. You can do all of that on here. It's all very easy uh, as far as the setup. So this camera runs on AA batteries. A nice uh, feature of it is you can run it on eight AA batteries or four AA batteries. You know, the recommended would be eight if you're looking to get full um, life expectancy out of the, the batteries. But the reason I prefer these cameras over other cameras on Amazon is that it comes with a solar panel. So let's take a look at that solar panel. Instruction manual. Again, they give you a mounting bracket. Nice thing about the solar panel is you also have two different places you can plug the, you can connect the mounting bracket to. You can either connect it at the bottom or on the back of the solar panel. But again, metal mounting bracket. Standard Android charging uh, cable. So this would be used to charge the uh, solar panel. The first time you put the solar panel out, you want to make sure that it's fully charged to get maximum performance out of it. You can run the camera totally off of the solar panel. You don't have to have batteries in the camera. Um, or if you prefer, you can also put batteries in there to operate as a backup in the event that your solar panel goes low. Uh, me personally, I plug the solar panel into the camera. I don't put any kind of batteries in there. And um, that's how I run, I run mine. I run it straight off of the solar panel. I've had no issues with it, it works great. They give you a cord to connect the solar panel. So you're gonna notice on this cord, there's a larger end and there's a smaller end. The larger end would go into the solar panel. The smaller end goes into the bottom of the camera in this little port. Another nice thing about this company is they give you an additional cord that you'll notice is a little bit different. It's got two of the larger ends. The reason for that is you can use the solar panel with other trail cameras on the market. So for example, I'm running a Moultrie trail camera off of the solar panel. I need this cord to connect to the Moultrie camera versus the uh, smaller headed cord that works with this camera. So just looking at the solar panel real quick, another nice feature is they've got this flap here. You've got a button here that tells you, so for example, this camera, you'd wanna run it on six volt. My Moultrie camera runs on 12 volts. You can adjust the voltage of the solar panel. And when you click this button, it'll show you what voltage you're on. So I'm on six volts. And then it also blinks to show you 
how fully charged your solar panel is. This one's fully charged. So I think that's a nice feature. I've used solar panels before that in no way tell you if it's fully charged or not. This one gives you an indication of that. So that's a quick look at the camera, a quick unboxing of it.